Leon Hess, former owner of the New York Jets, established the Hess Foundation with profits from his successful oil and gas business. The Hess Foundation is an $800 million family foundation. We have been trying to get the foundation to engage with us and answer some questions and talk to us. It is pretty unusual for a foundation to act so much as a charitable checking account. They have ignored our phone calls, our emails, our certified letters. In many cases, the grantees themselves consider Hess Foundation grants manna from heaven. So we're here at the offices of Cohn Resnick in Roseland, New Jersey, and this is listed as the headquarters for the foundation on their, on their tax returns, on their 990. Good morning, how are you? Good. Uh, my name is Aaron Dorfman. I'm with the National Committee for Responsive Philanthropy, and I wanted to meet with uh, Phil Mandel or Martin Pasinich about the uh, Hess Foundation. Well, so we've been told that Phil isn't here, and she's trying to track down Martin for us now. He's the one who actually signs the tax returns for the foundation. Martin's not here? Well, will you ask him to get back to us? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for trying. All right. So now I'm going to go to THK Consulting, the office address for former New Jersey Governor Thomas Kane, who is one of the trustees of the Hess Foundation. And hopefully he'll want to talk to me. So the Hess Foundation is needlessly mysterious. The nonprofits that they're awarding grants to are doing great work. curious why there is such a lack of transparency and so much mystery among grantees even. Reserve parking for THK Consulting. Hmm, it's locked. I would think they'd be opening up soon, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here. It's Monday morning. Well, I was just knocking on the door and, and nobody came in. We got back in the car to wait and see if somebody would show up. And, and I can see somebody in the office, uh, in the upper window there, but they're just not answering the door. No one in New Jersey has agreed to meet. We're gonna go into Manhattan now, and I'm gonna try to meet with John Hess, the chairman of the board of the Hess Foundation. I'm sorry, we just don't accept visitors to the office without an appointment. So we can't let you upstairs. Okay. If you'd like to make an appointment. Do you have a card? I do. And and we'd been trying to make an appointment with Mr. Hess. So uh, we've not everybody that wants an appointment with Mr. I, Hess. Got I, to I understand that. Yeah. Um, we haven't gotten anyone from the foundation to engage with us, tell us what they think of our assessment, and that's unusual. Most of the time when we do these, uh, people are eager to get our feedback, get our input right. and with get these their, uh, message out too. Yeah, absolutely. And they're doing some really good work at the foundation, but they're also underperforming in some really critical ways. And so we wanted to have a dialogue with Mr. Hess about that. Okay. okay. What's right. your role, Steve? I'm the facilities guy. Manager here of the yeah. facilities. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice so can you. you can you make sure I can get an appointment or I what's can't my next step? That. Absolutely not. But if you wanted to contact me, you're more than welcome to and certainly I'll pass the message along. But I can't guarantee that you will you'll get a meeting with them. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, All thank right. you. You're welcome. This is a foundation that is inordinately uh, untransparent. They don't engage with the broader community. And, uh, you know, being open to feedback is the way you get better. So I just got back and, and I tried to talk to the folks from the Hess Foundation. I went to the Cone Resnick office. I went to uh, Mr. Kane's, Governor Kane's office, <laughs> and, uh, and I went to the Hess corporate offices. They wouldn't talk to me. They still won't talk to us and engage with us about their philanthropy. It's crazy. I have to say I'm not really surprised because the grantees told us the same thing. They're not doing anything that's untoward, but they're also just not meeting their potential. There's room for skepticism about whether they actually have a strong charitable purpose or whether instead the Charitable Lead Trust and the foundation itself were simply established to avoid paying taxes. 